Today is October 19, 2011. Today I'm going to be discussing some issues. Okay? I don't care how good it sounds, how bad it sounds, as long as it's the truth. Because the truth is critical these days. If, you're not, if, if you don't like what I'm going to say, if you don't like what you see, you feel free to move on to the next video. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Okay, let me speak to you white folks first, alright? You know, I talked about some things in my last videos. I'm going to talk about some more things in this video that you're probably going to disagree with or you're probably not going to like. But you're going to watch it anyway, okay? Because you might be curious. Now, I want to talk about the Wall Street protests for a second, alright? You white folks have become the new minority. You're starting to feel it now. You're starting to see it. You're starting to feel it. Back in the 1960s, there was black folks protesting, okay, for their basic civil rights and getting their ass kicked by the, by the cops. You see, it ain't a black thing or a white thing now because it's your own, kind of, it's your own people doing that shit to you in the first place, all right? You know... A lot of you white folks jumped on the bandwagon in the 60s, you know, uh, uh, with, 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 with the uh, desegregation and segregation and all that, you know. Blacks, you use this water fountain, whites, you use this water fountain, thinking you was going to benefit somehow, which you did benefit from it. But now it's those same people, that same establishment that's turned against you now. And you, you not only see it, seeing it, you're feeling it as well. Alright? You're the new minority. Welcome to being a new minority just like the black people. And you know what? You can't get advice from another white person now. Because they ain't been through that shit. You need, you need, to, you need to listen to me. You need to listen to some black people that's been, been through it. Okay? Some black, some black people that had family that been through it. Because that's the only way you're going to understand and be able to cope with what's going on. Because it's much bigger than what you think. Alright? Now, I'm not against the Wall Street protests. Alright? But I feel that it's a distraction. Alright? Some of it is a distraction. And some of it is just plain old bullshit. If you want to go after a real problem, a an immediate threat, okay? It's not the Wall Street bankers. It's not the Federal Reserve. Hell, it's not even the damn draconian reptilians, all right? Some much worse. That's a, that's around us right now and we breathing it. The radiation, okay? The background radiation that's coming from the Fukushima plants. That's the media threat right now. That's what they should be protesting against. Because you know what? 20 years from now, a lot of them going to be dead. Alright? A lot of them going to be dead. Just like a lot of people died. Over a million people died since the, the nuclear disaster in Chernobyl. Alright? Over a million people died. Since then, since 86, just from that alone, and still dying. So you think that protesting against some, some bankers gonna uh, solve something right now when the immediate threat is the, the radiation, the background radiation that's coming from the Fukushima plants right now, that's not gonna stop until a lot of people are dead, are dead and buried, okay? They need to be protecting themselves against that and protesting against that. The, the nuclear uh, commission, the, the, the nuclear industry. That's who, that, that's who they should be going through. Okay? That's who they should be protesting against because all the other shit don't matter if you ain't alive. Okay? If your kids ain't alive or if they are alive, they fighting to survive. Okay? Because of the radiation that's in their body tearing away at their DNA. That's the immediate threat right now. Okay? But it's not being talked about. It's not being talked about like it should. On the mainstream media 
all of the alternative media, okay? Now, moving on to other things, okay? You have a lot of uh, disinformation going on. You know, I, I am basically sick and tired of a lot of these so-called false prophets, okay? That's why I started making these videos. Preaching things that's not true or twisting it around. Alright? Now, black folks, you got to understand. Alright? You are very, very special people. Yes, blacks, Native Americans, I ain't even say Hispanics. Because you, you, you Native American, you don't know it. Okay? You Indian, you don't know it. Okay? Just because I speak English don't mean that I came from England. That I'm British. Alright? I'm black. Just because you speak Spanish don't mean that you Spanish. Okay? You get what I'm saying. Now... You have a lot of disinformation coming from white folks, okay? Now, I have a problem with you white folks, like I said before. But when it comes to the lies and the bullshit, I have a problem with it. I don't care what the color is, I have a problem with it. If it ain't the truth, I have a problem with it. Now, a lot of you sisters, okay? You know, I don't know if you really know what's going on. A lot of a lot of you sisters don't understand what a black man goes through. All right, you don't understand. You basically, you know, end up being single, being single mothers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Black men on drugs in prison things like that. The black community is fucked up. Alright? It is totally fucked up. If you look at what we used to be compared to what we are right now, we are totally fucked up. But in order to solve something, you have to first acknowledge that there is a problem. Alright? Yes, there is a problem. A lot of you sisters, you know, I'm a plain... Some of you sisters need help, okay? All right? Some of you sisters need help. You ha you keep having kids, all right? Unwedded, you, you high and everything, okay? High in, 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 in uh, AIDS, AIDS rates, HIV. High in being single mothers, un single unwedded mothers, and buy more weave, hair weave, than anybody on this planet. Spend it's multi-billion dollar industry, okay? Not even owned by blacks, but you buy it. You it ain't nothing to spend a thousand dollars on the weave. It, that there's something wrong with that, okay? There's something wrong with that. Big time. And I'm not being biased at all. I'm calling it as I see it. Alright? If you want a black man to treat you like a queen, the queen that you really are now, he must first realize that he is a king. But if you ain't treating him not like no king and he's not getting the knowledge that he should, you ain't going to be treated like the queen like you should be. Okay? Finding a good man, a good man is hard to find. Just like a good, a good woman is hard to find. Okay? A good black woman is hard to find. But you guys, sisters got to understand. Brothers having it hard out here. Alright? Having it hard out here. And, you know, a lot of brothers go mess with these white girls. But you frown upon them when they go and do so. 
you need to do what you need to do and stick by that black man if you got one okay if you got a black man I, I mean I, a lot of you sisters fucked up in the head okay fucked up in the head need some counseling I ain't talking about no counseling from no goddamn pastor okay because well, he gonna be looking in your purse and looking under your dress to see what he can get okay I'm talking about some real counseling. I ain't talking about from no woman. There's enough black women trying to counsel other black women that don't know shit. Don't know shit about what's really going on. You need to talk to somebody that's real, that that knows what, what's really going on in the world. That knows how the world operates. And they talking about teaching straight out no Bible, okay? Because the, the black leaders in the black community and tried every damn thing. And failed at it, okay? Why don't you keep doing something and you keep failing at it? That's not producing no positive results. There's a church damn near every corner. Just like there's a, a liquor store, store on damn near every corner in the hood. But is it really benefiting the hood? No, the hood is, is getting worse off, okay? And they don't have that much to do with the economic crisis. Okay, that plays a role also, but it's not totally based upon that. It's the leaders in that community, okay? You can pour $10 million a week in the black community. That don't mean that it'll go towards the people that really need it, okay? It's going to go in the pockets of those leaders. And a lot of it is going to be spent on bullshit, okay? Bullshit like vacations. Boats, planes, churches, prostitutes, you name it. It's going to go towards the shit that don't benefit the people at all. Okay? And I'm going to tell you another thing. Like I said, I'm giving it to you raw. Okay? I'm going to give it to you raw just like Whole Foods. Alright? Some of you bitches need to be slapped. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you the, the, the ones that need to be slapped. The, 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 the black women in the community that need to be slapped is the ones that go and put the black man on child support, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. If you truly love, and I'm not on child support, don't get me wrong, but I've seen it, okay? i seen my mom put my dad on child support. I haven't seen aunties put, you know, their husbands on child support. They, they baby daddies. That's one of the biggest things that divide black people in the black community, okay? Because if you have a child together, that child is a part of you, that child is a part of him. Whatever you do to that, to, to one another, you hurting that child as well. Whether if you know it or not. That's why the black community is so fucked up, okay? That's why it's fucked up. And let me tell you something else. The laws are set up to hurt a black man, okay? I mean, it, it, you, let me give you an example. A woman could put a restraining order on a man. This, this don't have nothing to do with black or white. They reply, it works both ways. A woman can lie and put a restraining order on, on a man, temporary restraining order anyway, bam. The court is going to say yes. We're going to put a temporary restraining order on him. Whether if he's guilty or not, we just want to be on the safe side. We'll hold a court date and see if he's guilty or not. And if he's found guilty, we'll extend that restraining order along with some stipulations that go along with it. The majority of the women that go on and apply for a restraining order are lying about it, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. The easiest way to get rid of a man, to get him out the house, besides dialing 911, is to put a restraining order on him. Okay? Even if the house is his. To put a restraining order on him, to get him out, in order to move your new goddamn boyfriend in the house. Okay? You got a new boyfriend, you, you, you want to do away with the old boyfriend? All you got to do is put a restraining order on them. 
that's it. If you got kids, 